When I was a kid, I'd go hang out at my friend's house, spend the night, sleep over. They would come to my house too. We'd have some little slumber parties type deal. Not in the sense of a bunch of girls getting together and doing each other's hair and makeup. More like let's play video games or GI Joes or whatever, depending on how old we were, right? So there's a lot of scaring that we did to each other too. Like telling each other ghost stories or making stuff up to put the other people on edge. But there's some real scary stuff that happens at some sleepovers sometime too. So we're going to react to a story today by MJV Animations about a sleepover horror story. Make sure to subscribe to MJV Animations. Subscribe to me if you like reaction videos. And let's get into this one. Sleepover horror stories. Before I start this, I just want to say that I in no way blame this on my friend or her mother at all. All right. The story takes place around two years ago, during the summer of 2019. Okay. I was 14 years old at the time, and I had a really big group of friends that I would go to the pool with, like, almost every day. Very cool, We all man. lived only a few houses Love away from each other, pools. except for about three of the girls. There were eight of us. The nice day was like every other like. day. <laughs> we woke up, put on our bathing suits, and we had our friend Ryan's mom take us to the pool. That's she cool, happened man. to have a minivan that could fit us all. That is a lot of we fun. Got to the Hanging pool out with friends at the pool. AM and swim until about 9 p.m. when the pool closed. Mm -hmm. Since all of our parents were super close and we still wanted to keep the fun going, we decided to crash at our friend Ava's house. Okay. She had a huge downstairs basement that was soundproof because her dad used nice. to teach guitar and drum lessons to people all the time. Nice. Party. Two of our friends, Carly and Aaron, <laughs> didn't really want to go because they felt really tired and dizzy for being out all day and night. Sure. The sun will wear you So out, we said bro. our goodbyes to the two of them as their parents came and picked them up. And it only took about four minutes for Ava's mom to come get us. She yeah. had a smaller car, so we had to squeeze in a little more. Mm -hmm. When we got to Ava's house, we came inside and thanked her mom for Shotgun. driving us before going to get some snacks from the kitchen. As we walked into the kitchen, we could see Ava's stepdad, David. Uh oh. None of us really liked David since he kind of had a reputation of being really creepy towards us and uh. making rude comments to us whenever our parents came to pick us up. Hmm. We walked to the cabinets and grabbed all we needed and proceeded to pile down the stairs to the basement. Let me give you a quick layout of the basement. Okay. As soon as you walk down the stairs... To your right is sort of the kitchen and work room, and okay. then to your left is a basement living room. And then once you walk past the sofas, there's a pool table. God On the dang. left of the pool table, there's a hallway huge. where on the left is a bathroom and storage room, and then to your right is a bedroom. All of us really smelled of sunscreen and chlorine, <laughs> so we split into groups of two and went to each different room to change out of the bathing suits and into clothes. Yeah. The basement was kind of creepy, and none of us wanted to be alone in any of the rooms due to the previous paranormal experiences we've had Paranormal. There. Ava always had spare shirts that she'd let us wear that used to be her dad's, and since most of wow. us were five foot two and shorter, the shirts covered us enough that we didn't need to wear shorts. Night and gowns. if you're wondering, <laughs> yes, we washed our hair. <laughs> we would usually take turns taking a shower, but we were so tired that we just tilted our heads back over the tub and yeah. then took turns washing each other's hair. Once we finished with that, oh, we nice. walked to the basement bedroom and got comfortable. We made bracelets, talked about drama and the new school year coming up, mm -hmm. eat junk food, drink Pepsi, and then watch the new season of Stranger Things. What a life, man. After around three hours of this, <laughs> it's been our friend young. Ryder was asleep on the bed while the rest of us sat on the floor talking. Right. While Ava was halfway through her sentence, we heard the stairs of the basement then creaking. Okay. All of us were silent. Ava Step said it could just be one of her cats or something. But before she cats? could even finish, creaking we then the heard stairs. around six more steps from the basement stairs area. Mm -mm. Ryan, the oldest of us, seemingly the most freaked out, quietly walked to the door and locked it while me and my friend Molly went to turn off the lights. Okay. We waited around five minutes. The only light coming from the computer screen that we'd been watching Netflix on. Right. We quietly whispered about what the noise could be until we heard sliding footsteps coming into the hallway of the basement. Me and Ava grabbed onto each other as everyone else fell silent. You know. After about two minutes of hearing nothing, we all then moved to the bed. It's always worse when you have people While confirming doing this, the fear, we right? We managed to wake up Ryder, who then loudly asked, What the hell are y'all doing? <laughs> Ryan covered his mouth with his hands while telling him what was going on. Shh. Ryder, who hates when people Time wake him up, sat up and told us to calm down. Or, in his own words, chill the fuck out. <laughs> as he walked to the basement bedroom door and unlocked it. He swung the door open, and what we saw made us all stiff what as a hell? board with fear. There in the doorway stepdad? was Ava's stepdad. Her stepdad was terrifying. He was six foot four, short brownish hair, heavy set, And he had these square glasses that could reflect about anything. 
So what's he doing? Me and everybody else in the room there? screamed at the top of our lungs as Ryder slammed the door in his face, locked it, and ran into the bed into me and Ryan's arms. We all stayed as silent as possible. He lives there, though. For what felt like hours, as we heard Ava's stepdad groaning and asking if he could join us. No. Our friend Izzy and I began to cry while Ava <laughs> called her mom to come down and get him. That's After weird, I'd say though, about right? 45 minutes, all was silent, and we ended up falling asleep piled up on top of one another. We woke to the sound of Ava's mom knocking on the door. We then unlocked it and let her in. She then explained to us how after she brought David back up, he then told her, That many young girls down in the dark basement all by themselves is really dangerous. Anything could happen and no yeah. one could hear anything. Thank goodness those two boys were in there and were smart enough to lock the door in case anyone tried to do anything. No, no, no. When her no. mom told us this, I felt sick to my stomach. When I looked over, I saw the look of pure horror and disbelief on everyone's faces. After that, we all decided to go home. <laughs> I'm 16 years old now, and Ava's stepdad passed away due to the coronavirus. Wow. And those girls aren't as close anymore. But that night and all the other experiences we've had since then have stayed between us. And they probably always will. You know, I don't know if there was some details lost in the story, but hear me out. The guy lived there. Yes, he was creepy. Yes, y'all kind of egging each other on. Did he have any malicious intent by going down? He could have, like, don't get me wrong, wanting to hang out with a bunch of teenagers like that is, is weird, is strange. But being that he lived there, you know, we've had dads that came and just kind of hung out with people before, especially to kind of be a custodian, you know, like a, a chaperone, so to speak. I don't know if that's, I don't know if he had any malicious intent. I don't know, just because they felt like they was creeped out and they said something about paranormal experiences too, maybe it was far-fetched, I don't know. What do you think, guys? Let me know. As far as this video though, MJV Animations, guys, make sure to subscribe to him. Subscribe to me if you like reaction videos too. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.